What's up everybody, I am back. As you guys know, as most of you guys know, if you saw my last video, I went on vacation, did a little four day vacation down at a spot in Southern Utah called Sand Hollow. Um, <clears throat> it's like a massive state park. There's all different types of terrain. They got a reservoir out there. It's, it's all pretty amazing. I was out there with my family and a group of really cl close friends. We did like a Friendsgiving thing, which is awesome because Thanksgiving is by far my favorite holiday of the year. So overall, really good time. It was fun just to hang out with everybody. Like I said, really close friends, people I would consider family. And in the end, life is short, so that's what it's about. On my drive down there, I was just thinking how interesting everything was unfolding. There's been a lot of FUD in the chats, you know, people getting kind of crazy. The crypto market as a whole is on fire right now, so it doesn't matter what projects you're in, people are completely fearful. And what I find is really interesting is uh, take a minute to step away and I get a little perspective now that I'm outside of this DeFi space and I'm out of Telegram and I'm out on the road, I'm enjoying the scenery and of course it's a, a you know fairly long drive. So I've got plenty of time to process my thoughts while I'm driving. And what I started thinking about is how weird the DeFi world is. You've got all these different projects out there and you can really consider those different companies. And I started thinking to myself, do you think that someone investing in one company is just preying on the downfall of someone investing in another publicly traded company? Like if I own shares of Tesla, because I'm bullish on Tesla and I hope it goes up, and someone else has chosen to put their money in Rivian because they are bullish on that electric car or truck company and they wanna see it succeed, how many times do you think the guy that owns Tesla, say I own Tesla, is preying on the downfall of the other company? How many times do you think they're making videos saying, my company is better than yours, I hope your company goes to zero, jumps on the message boards and says, you know, haha, we did way better than you this month, the company you chose to back is trash. It doesn't happen because people are not that immature in real investing life. In the real world, real professional investors aren't looking at other projects or other companies and preying on their downfall. They're more concerned about the projects they're in and the companies they are invested in. So I got to thinking like, what type of person really wants other people to lose money and fail? What type of person hopes that the, the investment you chose goes under and you lose all your money? And they actually find joy in that. They're going around and you know typing in the comments of all the videos. They're spreading that information through Telegram. They actually want you to fail and it brings them joy. And the answer of course is really weak-minded people. If you are actively in any manner preying on another person's downfall, you are weak. How sad must your life be to be sitting in your mom's basement, typing up, just hoping everyone loses their money just because they chose a different, a different investment vehicle than you did. How weak is that? Just proves to me that a lot of these people have sad little lives. And in the end, a lot of them are just common internet trolls. None of these people, not one person who's been posting these mean comments, um, even in my telegram or on any, in the description of any of my videos or in the comment section, not one of those people, not a single one would ever say any of that stuff to my face. And that's because they're weak. And unfortunately, they're living sad little lives. That said, I've chosen to only be in a couple of projects that I'm backing right now. A couple of projects that I like and I hope they do well. And I'm gonna make videos on it and I'm gonna share my story. There's a lot of projects that I'm not in. Some of them I don't like because I feel like there's a lot of red flags. Some of them look like pretty good projects but I don't wanna spread myself too thin so I just keep myself in a couple. So if you're in one of these projects that I'm not in, I hope you succeed. I'm not in Frost Flakes, I'm not an Optimus, I didn't get into ARC. I'm not in BNB minor, and there's a thousand others. I hope that every single one of you guys has, has chosen to go into those other investments, even though I'm not in them, I hope you guys all make money. I do not take it personally in, by any means that you have chosen a different project than I do. And I think that people that are taking it personally are weak, they're weak people. They'd never, ever, ever say that stuff to your face because they're weak. They'd rather just type it into the comments section and get super angry. So let the record show. If you're in any project that I'm not in, I hope you succeed and I hope you make a ton of money. I will never, ever, ever make a video trashing another project. And I especially will never make a video trashing the individuals that chose to invest in that because they thought the project would do well. The only time you'll ever find me talking trash about somebody would be these developers that are dirt bags that do rug pulls and their whole project is just set up to be a scam. Outside of that, the developers who set up these DeFi projects are probably trying their best. They're trying to make something sustainable. They have different talent levels, so some of them are gonna do very well. Some of them are gonna crash and burn. But that is the name of the game. It's kinda like investing in penny stocks. So if you choose to back a horse, I hope your horse wins. 
I think it would be great if we could all win in this space. Unfortunately, that's generally not how it works, especially in this area of more of a high risk, high return environment. The fact of the matter is most of these projects are gonna fail. Some of them are gonna survive and just a couple of them people are gonna do really, really well in. So again, if you're in a project that I'm not in, I hope you do well, I hope you make money. If you're one of those people that's in the chats, in the telegrams, in everybody's comments section, or making videos praying for the downfall of others, you're a bitch, and that's all there is to it. So anyways, let's switch gears. Um, let me give you the update on Animal Farm and Drip and everything, and just kind of the state and status of those projects. But first, why don't I show you a little bit of my vacation? I'll throw some um, some pictures up here and maybe a little bit of video so you can you can check out what I was doing this weekend. Here we go. As you can see, we had a really fun time. It was, like I said, just great to get together with uh, with friends and family and get away from the computer a little bit and get away from the chats, get away from the drama that is this DeFi space. I wish more people were adults about all this and, and about the investing world, but we got a lot of young 20 something, early 30s gamers who uh, you know think it's fun to tra talk trash on the internet. Uh, but again, you already know my thoughts on those people. On to Animal Farm. So 140 million in TVL, so it was nice to crack that. It just keeps building. I think a lot of people are build, uh, you know, buying pigs and dogs and staking other assets. You know, Some of the pools and farms are allowing people to make money by just really parking it there. So I think that's really helpful. And of course, you know, that's the main thing with Animal Farm. It gives people an opportunity to make money just by staking their crypto on a decentralized platform. So we already knew it was gonna do well and it's doing very well. So 140 million pigs are up at 118 and popped up a little bit. Uh, they're right about at a point where it's either gonna, you know, come down towards 100 or shoot up past like 125, 130. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, dogs are just hanging real steady right around this 55 range. But I know at some point we're gonna see the dog's price take a dump a little bit because those taxes are, are getting reduced. So at some point that's gonna happen, which for me is gonna be an incredible buying opportunity. Um, I still just have 34 pigs here. I did add some to the dog pound um, yesterday. So I've got, you know, 16.05 here and I add some to the linear pool, which is already earning me B&B, so that's awesome. So at the end of this week, maybe Friday, I'll probably double this position. And I plan to buy, let's see, what do I need to get? I wanna get this up to 50. So I plan to buy at least 16 more pigs to get this up to 50, just to get me to that milestone and then I'll keep adding. So overall, my positions on Animal Farm are looking good. They're still relatively small, so I'm not making crazy money. But over time, I'm gonna keep adding to these positions. I think most of the people that are really killing it on Animal Farm made a reasonable amount of money in Drip and then have just been buying pigs. I also think that that's where some of the money from Drip is going right now. So Drip price is down. I'm up to 11.6, but it doesn't mean a lot because the prices are so low. $1.51, so it's down to $1.51. We did have a nice little buy come in earlier. So people are still believing in the project. There's just a lot of people out there draining it. And I think one, everyone's just scared of DeFi. So they're just continually draining it. I mean, people have been scared of DeFi for the last few months, but all these additional catalysts are just making people more and more fearful. At some point soon, we will be at max pain, and that's gonna be the perfect time to accumulate assets for that next bull run. Pretty standard stuff, but as you guys know, as you're going through the process, some of you guys, this is your first bear market, you're feeling that fear every day when the prices go lower and lower and lower, it's like it's taking your breath away. Trust me when I say there will be a point where where it bottoms out, everyone's fearful, nobody wants to purchase, all the smart money purchases purchases up all the cheap assets, then everything starts to turn around, the momentum starts to change, the overall macro sentiment starts to change, and all those people at the bottom just kill it. What was it, back in 2017, Bitcoin rallied up to you know 20 grand, Every th everyone thought it was going to 50, then it dropped all the way down to 3,500. Everyone said Bitcoin's dead, no one wants to touch it. Bitcoin was 3,500, then rallied to 70,000. Think if you would have spent 35,000 and got yourself 10 Bitcoin. You then could have sold at the top and made about 700 grand. So of course that's just an example, but know that these cycles happen. I think Amazon's down like 55, 60% from its all time high. 
So that's a major, major stock. You've got Facebook down like 65% or something like that too, as well as many, many others in the tech world. And those investments in the stock market, those are considered stable. As we know, cryptocurrency is not stable. Things are gonna swing up and down. And generally the moves are gonna be bigger than they would be in the stock market. So if the stock market is taking that big of a hit in the tech sector, we're technically in a derivative of the tech sector, we're gonna get hit harder. So what's gonna happen in the short term? Probably gonna get worse before it gets better. <clears throat> we probably have a couple months of just sludging through the mud for the rest of the year, but I created a plan and I'm gonna stick to it. So I'm just gonna continue compounding this till I get to max payout. I will uh, withdraw some of it just to take like a salary for myself and the rest of it, I'm going to feed my second account and I'm also gonna uh, you know, continue to buy pigs and put stuff in the animal farm. I like just the idea of just accumulating as many pigs as possible. They just sit there and generate me BUSD. So I don't really see a downside of that. It's extremely stable. And I don't think the animal farm needs drip to survive. I do think drip needs the animal farm to survive and some of the other utilities that are coming out. So my hope is that those are coming out soon. Uh, it's my understanding that Forex had a pretty good AMA over the weekend. I've read a few of the few footnotes from it and I've heard a couple of clips. And in one of the clips, uh, Forex talks a lot about the correlation between drip and the animal farm and kind of why drip sliding and when he's gonna be able to bring more attention to that. They're still working on animal farm because it's so brand new. So there's still some, some tweaks that need to happen there. You know, it's only been out two, three weeks or something like that. So he's saying once they get those sorted out, they'll go back to drip, but they are doing a drip or he is doing a drip specific AMA tomorrow. So I think most of us are just waiting on pins and needles to see what he has to say there. I would love for him to say, we're starting the baby Dow, we're starting the rage, race for Scratchy. We just need to get some sort of momentum going here. Right now, there's absolutely no momentum. But Forex seems extremely calm about it and he doesn't seem concerned at all that Drip may die. So because he's not concerned at all, I'm less concerned. I do think, however, that he's gonna do this stuff you know, on the timing that he wants to do it. So for me, that's unfortunate because this account's gonna max out in February. And I don't think the drip price is gonna be amazing by then, but I'd like to see us up in like the $5 range. That'd be great. And it could definitely happen. We just need to get scratchy and all that stuff out. So if that happens, then I'll be making pretty decent money here. I can keep a portion for salary, really only what I need. The rest of it's gonna cycle back in the system over into my second account and then a bunch over the animal farm because I really wanna build my positions there, specifically in the pig pen and in the dog pound linear pool so I can earn BNB. So I'm just constantly getting uh, BUSD and BNB, and I'm just going to keep cycling that back in until I actually need the money and need to actually pull a salary from it. But for the time being, everything to me is going to be all about accumulation and just trying to hold on until that next bull run comes. Because when that next bull run comes, all the projects that survived are going to do extremely well in the bull run. Right now, projects across the board are just getting laid to waste. And that's what happens in a bear market. So if you don't have really strong mechanics and an ecosystem, you are not surviving, in my opinion, as like a daily ROI platform. You gotta have an ecosystem built on the side of it. Otherwise, your runway is really short. So for the projects out there that are just launching a daily, a daily ROI protocol right now, those guys need to get utility out immediately. So whatever it is, whether it's a casino or whatever they're interested in doing and building out their ecosystem, they gotta do it right away because everyone is fearful, so they're gonna dump some money in and then just start claiming. So be very careful of the platforms that you're involving yourself with if you're an investor. Be smart about it, only use risk capital. But like I said, I really hope that you do make money on any choice that you make. Life is short. Us DeFiers are very, very exclusive. There's not very many of us. I would be kind of surprised if there's more than like a million, million and a half people on the planet who are into DeFi. So in a way we're an elite group and we should not be preying on the downfall of our fellow citizens. So what's my plan? My plan in drip is just to continue to compounding. I do think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. So I'm gonna wait till it gets a little lower to put a nice chunk of DCA in there. And I'll probably put that into my second account because this one's gonna max out in February anyway. So I'm like 90 days out. I don't know that I need to rush that. I'm gonna max out another account and another platform here soon. So it's gonna give me some additional funds to be able to put in the animal farm or reinvest in that protocol. So I'm pretty excited about that. I've got some investment money coming in that's uh, discretionary, if you will. So at the end of the month or over the next week or two, I'm gonna be able to buy up a bunch of additional pigs. I'm probably gonna DCA into my garden, get that boosted up. I've been on a kind of a compound uh, claim schedule. So I've been compounding for a couple days and then I'll claim a little chunk of a day. And I'm just putting that over into the drip USD pool, just trying to build that up. I don't mind doing that, even though I'm not getting the best return, it locks up some of that liquidity and earns me some dogs. So that's what I've been doing there, but I would like to buy some of those LPs uh, for cheap and then just boost my garden back up. So that's my plan there. 
I don't think the garden's gonna totally die. I don't think Drip's gonna totally die. The animal farm is rock solid. I see zero issues there. So for me, I'm just gonna continue on my plan, continue being calm. If there are people saying dumb stuff in my chat, they're gonna get warned and then they're gonna get banned. If there's people putting dumb, dumb comments on my videos, I'm just deleting them. I just don't have time for all this childish drama. I hope everybody wins. I know that not everybody will. And when people lose money, I'm not gonna gloat. I'm gonna feel sorry for them because in the end, we're all in this together. And if you're playing with this type of stuff to try to create wealth for yourself or create gener generational wealth, I guarantee you're not one of the elites out there. And when it really comes down to them, it's us versus them. So we need to stick together as a community. Again, hope everybody wins. Happy investing.